Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your video. Um, I don't know how much that this will pertain to Crosswatcher unless you're watching for an Aquarian, okay, maybe you're dealing with one. But this is about money, career, finances, that type of thing. And I'm going to do it a little bit different today. I'm going to start off with um, Aquarians in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and 70s I'll go there so I'm just gonna do a little read ask the question sort of see how the finances are going or looking um, and other than that this is still tarot it's still entertainment it's a general it's a general collective type of reading anyway I've already said my prayers and I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world and I want to thank all of you for showing up for being here um, I appreciate your time and your energy. I do. I value you and the divine values you and I want to thank you all so much for being here. Um, I'm going to start off with the overall energy of the angel, abundance angels. Okay, we're going to see what wants to come out. This is for Aquarians, 20-somethings, 20 20-something 20 Aquarians, money, finances, career, general reading. I will timestamp. I will timestamp below. All right, so for the 20 somethings I have right here, sever the vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice, okay? Hold on to the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously, in any lifetime. As you do so, all efforts of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So, that means you would just verbally say, okay, I undo and I take back any vows of poverty that I've said in this life or any other lifetime that I may have directed to myself or anyone else. I undo it. I take it back. Um, and I see myself in abundance. I am abundance. I am love. Something like that. So take back the vows of poverty. And we have, have courage to ask for help and uh, accept it so asking for help is a sign of strength okay as it's accepting it as it's offered to you very often when you ask God for help prayers are answered through other people be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you're guided so asking for help is a sign of strength all right ask ask for help verbally out loud as you just the same way that you sever the vows of poverty ask for help verbally say you know i need help if you believe in god god i need help please help me i need to pay my bills i need to um, have money for this um you know ask for help and then pay attention to how it comes pay attention to the conversations pay attention to the things that pop up in your feed pay attention to the most minute little things because the answers come in all forms. Listen to that again. The answers come in all forms. So let's get into the tarot part. I'm going to close out your 20-somethings with a spirit animal message. So for the 20-somethings, what do they need to know about money, career, finance? What do they need to know right now? What's beneficial for them to know? 20-somethings that can help them grow or uh, figure out what they want to do. Show me what I need to see for the 20-somethings, Aquarians. Okay. All right. So there's a lot. Yeah, I mean, this is a lot of sideways cards. So there's a lot of... 20-somethings, you're quite not sure what you really want to do. And I mean, that's totally normal for your age, okay, range. Um, there's some of you that don't know what you should cut out, okay. Um, and, you know, with the Queen of Cups sideways, the Page of Cups sideways, the Four of Cups sideways, you know, there's a lot of you, you just don't know what you want to do. You don't know which way you want to go. You don't know what you want to do. You don't know what you should cut out. You don't know what you should do to make money, okay. And, um... Maybe you've had some bad luck in some of the jobs. We do have the Ten of Swords, okay, sideways. Maybe some of you um, feel like you haven't been very lucky when it comes to finding work. So I'm going to clarify each one here. 
page of cup sideways. Please clarify that page of cup sideways for me. Clarify this page of cup sideways. This is the Osho Zen deck, and it will show you spiritually. It's a Zen deck. Um, what you need to do, and a Zen deck would involve a lot of meditation. Usually, patience. Patience. Okay. For some of you, um, maybe even twenty something working in a pregnancy because we have a page of cups which can be a baby um, and we have this person here which is a seven of pentacles but it talks about divine timing because when you get pregnant it takes nine months for a baby to be born that's why it talks about patience okay um, so there's something here if there's some of you who want a job that has benefits okay um, some of you work is hard because there's children they get sick you have to take off from work things like this but oh ultimately overall if you're not sure what you want to do some of you maybe you don't even know if you want to return to work right away you want to have time with your children or maybe even some of you want to work with children whatever this is talking about overall beyond children beyond pregnancy because anyone can watch this any gender this has a lot to do with have patience if you don't know what it is that you truly want to do have patience with yourself you still have some time to figure it out. All right. Meditation can help with that. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Sideways. All of this is sideways. This landed on divine timing and patience, and we have breakthrough. So if you don't know which way to go when it comes to... Um, your forever job and as a parent as a parent of 20 something year olds I can I can relate as far as some 20 year olds going through this <coughs> excuse me because I'll give you an example um, sometimes people don't want to go into anything until they know what they want to do it's like I don't want to get a job unless that's the job I want to do and some people are just forced to do any kind of job to make ends meet but I feel that for some of you you're about ready to have a breakthrough have patience with yourself especially if you're not sure what you want to do which direction you want to go and that can even have something to do you know even if you're in school about you know what to even take up or study or learn there's something to this here tell me about the queen of cups that can talk about what you love to do it also can talk about you know it can be like a mother <laughs> um or, or a water sign. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. It also can talk about if you, um, if you really like helping others, some sort of like social work, okay? Guidance is in the reverse here. So, and this is a card of intuition. So it's, it's, it's strongly saying here a couple of messages. For one, maybe there's one of your parents or a water sign who doesn't like what you want to do, okay, or disagrees with you. Um, also, it would also tell me that maybe you're just not in touch with your inner guidance, all right? And be patient with yourself. And meditation will help with that to just get in touch with your inner guidance because guidance reverse is what come out here. But when you get in touch literally tune in we have the card of Aquarius the star card sitting in silence and that's what it says silence tuning in there's gonna be some major changes you're gonna have some major guidance you won't be stuck trying to figure it out tell me about the Queen of Swords okay Libra energy it's also your air energy but for the question I ask I take it that trying to figure out what to cut out yeah <laughs> we have healing all right, this looks at the, the chakra. The heart chakra is exposed. And, you know, there there is something here that maybe, um, maybe there's something that you're healing from or have gone through in life, and maybe that's something that is affecting how you choose what you want to do or choose how you make your money. But also maybe there's a field that you want to go into that helps with something that maybe you've overcome or that you're healing from and you might go into the that same field to help others okay achieve the same results tell me about the five of pentacles it's sideways it talks about money it talks about lack and it talks about um 
abandonment issues so we do have this next to the healing card tell me about the five of pentacles three of cups reverse understanding in the reverse so there's something possibly that's linked to this healing maybe there's somebody or so, some of you who are trying to literally heal something from the past learn something from it okay to free yourself from that maybe there's something that's um that's might be like i said literally a field that you go in but when it comes to also money if we're talking about in terms of money maybe you're you're you don't want to de be um, dependent on another person okay because you know let's just say if you're living at, with another person all right because you don't have enough to be on your own um you can't be freed because this is a card of freedom but it's in the reverse okay there's you know trust me up here it's saying have patience with yourself because you're going to have a breakthrough okay you're going to have a breakthrough and you're going to know which way to go tell me about the ten of swords sideways and that can talk about the past literally trying to heal something from the past something that is um affecting how you determine what you want to do or which direction you want to go okay tell me and you know health can be even it can even be health because we have the five of pentacles so just got to trust the process no matter what's going on for you aquarians who are in your 20 somethings um you're just going to have to trust the process because you're going to align with something here um and it, here consciousness receptivity is in the reverse it's talking about practice presence live moment to moment raise your consciousness some of you might have like an overbearing parent or an overbearing person guiding you a way to go and yet that's you don't feel that sit in silence the card of silence it's also aquarius and don't feel guilty we have guilt in the reverse don't feel guilty for anything especially if there's something that you want to do and this is the dream this card literally says the dream if you have a dream something you really want to do don't let anybody i don't care who it is you know detour you from that dream because you don't want to have to come back to it after you know like in your 40s <laughs> okay trust me on this all right now we're going to go to the aquarians well wait bonus card my bad bonus card let's get a bonus card for you 20 somethings and we'll go on to the 30 somethings we have here clever fox and it says you are swift and smart solutions to problems are easily found always listen to your instincts resources surround you be open to romance so there might be a romantic partner uh, that helps you or a romantic partner that you meet um, when you find the place you go but this this queen of swords is very clever and smart and you do have some help and some love around you where, where however it's coming you do have some support try to meditate practice silence and presence and live in the moment and you're going to have a breakthrough because that's literally when god the universe the ultimate intelligence will speak to you anyway i love you 20 somethings and namaste okay this is for aquarians who are 30 something okay um, this is for money, career, finances. Let's see what wants to come out. Uh, what what information could help you the most right now? Aquarians who are in the 30-somethings. What could help you the most right now? If you need it even, right? Okay. We have obstacles and blocks lifted. I love this for you guys. All of your good personal uh, work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away you will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues this is just be thankful for everything you have from the smallest thing of a roof over your head and food in your stomach literally be thankful for every little thing you have and this is cooperation instead of competition okay there's enough abundance for everyone basically what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you there's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all you have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others with cooperative effort partnerships 
you can accomplish anything. So you might work with others on projects and um, maybe you're a competitive person, but don't worry. There's enough for everybody. What's yours is yours. No one can take it. And sometimes that's just the design of the universe. We're meant to work with others um, when we make our money. We're meant to co-create. So let's see what wants to come out for the 30-something Aquarians. 30-something Aquarians. Like uh, an analogy they just gave me is maybe some of you like to write or design. You guys are creators. Um, you guys... Um, do that uh, coding stuff or whatever and then there's another person who works along with you and does illustrations like if you're a writer or you know you put the story and they put you know the illustrations and stuff like that that's just the analogy they gave me okay or you're an artist and you create artwork and and they put um, you know they put a story with your art something all right show me what I need to see 30 something Aquarians Money, career, finance. <laughs> we have Aquarius and Aries, and we have them in the reverse. All right. So some of you, um, you know, it talks about blocks are lifted. For me, sometimes this, uh, this Queen of Wands, besides being a fire sign, of course, it can be a fire sign, but it can be like third-party energy. This could be what you're moving away from. All right, this could be a blockage that, you know, it was a stepping stone you learned and now you're moving on. Because we have a brand new beginning and the sun card here on the bottom of the deck. And it might require some sort of contract, but this is something that's coming in. A new beginning. Whatever this karmic uh, money was, is, okay, if you're moving out of it, you've overcome that blockage so i do see that and that's what came out first thing so tell me about the queen of wands and the reverse for the, the 30 something aquarians tell me about that yeah harmony <laughs> in the reverse okay Wh whoever you was working with dealing with making money with whatever okay you guys were not in harmony together and that's a thing of the past could have been a tower moment and we have source here and source is the one who who sends the tower out because it's just time for that to quit maybe somebody was driving you batty or whatever tell me about the king of swords that's aquarius it's air energy but it's literally aquarius tell me about the king of swords reverse yeah i mean Whoever this person was, obviously there's some sort of falling out between you and another person, all right? Um, and it could have been a test, whatever. You chose. It looks like you made a choice, all right? It looks like it was your choice. You wasn't working well or you wasn't doing well or somebody was holding you back, okay? Even if it's not a person that you're working with. Let's say you're in a relationship and this person was just sort of holding you back. They didn't want you to go in that direction in life or whatever. And it's like, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You guys, 30-something Aquarians, you have removed the obstacle. Now something is really good coming in. And I feel it's something you're going to be passionate about. And I did talk about. This is a card of creativity. All right? It's a new passion. Raise your consciousness, live in the moment. This also came out for the 20-somethings. It's overall energy here. Raising your consciousness, practicing presence, that is what is going to align you with this beautiful abundance that's coming in. And it also is going to help you to see beyond people's mask, okay? Because this person's wearing a mask. They're fakes. So it's going to help you with that too. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Landed on this over here. Right. So because you chose to move away from this energy, Aquarius, this is what's lining up. A brand new energy, okay? Blocks are, are lifted. You're going to create, co-create with someone new, and it's going to be beautiful when it comes to your, your money and your, your finances and your career. All right, so congratulations and good luck. Namaste. My bad. 30-somethings. We got to close out with a spirit animal oracle. I'm so sorry. At least I remembered before I started the next sign. What is a spirit animal oracle for the 30 something Aquarians, please? Beautiful. Busy bee right here. All right. Queen bee, busy bee. It says bee community. And it says 
You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. So remember that you are the queen of abundance. I feel that you're going to work or create something very beautiful that benefits others because the honey that's created from these bees, it benefits um, the earth, okay? It benefits flowers, it pollinates, and it grows. So now I can go on to the next uh, group. Thank you, 30-somethings, for being patient. Namaste. Okay, 40-something Aquarians. This is for um, finances, career, money, all right? I'm going to start off here with the Abundance Angels, and we'll see what wants to come out. Show me what I need to see for the 40-something Aquarians. And in between, I did a quick little um, shuffle as well. Show me what I need to see for the 40-something Aquarians for Abundance, Money, Career, Finances. It says, face your financial fears, okay? When you're honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear. And that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. So whatever you have fear of, verbally say it out loud. I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of losing what I have. I'm afraid of um, not being able to pay my bills. I'm afraid that I can't support my family. I'm Whatever it is, just say it and let it go. Let it go. Release it. So let's see here what wants to come out in the tarot part, all right, for the 40-something Aquarians when it comes to money, finance, career. Overall, general messages. 40-something Aquarians when it comes to career, money, finances. Career, money, finances. 40-something Aquarians. I'm going to do one more shuffle after this. 40-something Aquarians. What do we need to know right now? Okay. All right. So this is kind of heavy right here. All right. Some of you may feel... Um, cut off or cut out okay maybe there's some maybe things have slowed down um because here we have a lot of stagnant stuff it's like there's something missing with this um you know it's like a lack of direction all right which area do i go into now the magician is reversed the two of wands is reversed but what you don't see beyond that okay there is a new beginning here um, you may be working with someone. You may be going back to school to learn something, all right, to improve your income. Now, I'm going to clarify to see what these actual cards are, but there's, there's like a slow, it's like a, a slowing down, okay? Things, for some of you in your 40s, things might have slowed down a little bit. Um, it might be, um, might be a little bit of a, of a patch, okay, because we have the Ten of Swords reversed. Maybe you're getting beyond some hard ending or something that could have happened with your finances as a career. But look, it is going to pick back up, all right? Tell me about the Eight of Wands, the Master. So there's something here that is, you know, and I did see further down, you know, possibly learning something new. Um... And you don't have to go to school to learn it. You can get training anywhere, even on the internet. You can just pretty much, it's wherever. But there's something here that's telling you to slow down and look at something here. You've, there's something that you've got to master, and it's a lesson. Um, and it, it's almost as if this is the period of, of um, allowing you to grow okay and to expand it's almost like a slowing down for whatever reason um but it's saying try to master master your feelings face your fears okay so you might some of you in your 40s might be experiencing a slowdown period and this is just right now it doesn't mean the rest of your life or for your whole 40s this is just right now what you need to know right now is this slow down it can last a month or a week or you know a day just whatever it is it seems like there's something it's asking you to slow down take a look at the bigger picture with the master and the reverse there's something that you might need to see and it's a change 
you know, I'm guided to tell you a little story, but there's some definitely some change coming in, all right? I remember when I was, I was in my 40s, I had lost a job that I had been at for a long time. I was really good at it. I was making good money at it. I was supporting my family, and I lost this job overnight, overnight. And I felt betrayed, very much like what this is saying here. So it might just be something to help you look at a, maybe a different career focus because literally if I was if if I had not lost that job I'd still be there to this day like I never would have left it I wouldn't be here reading tarot all right I've actually had um, a job or two since that job so it's there's a slowing down that could be coming for some of you this ain't for everyone but for some of you there could be a slowing down maybe you didn't expect it maybe it was a sudden cut off and it's really because you're you're not where you're supposed to be. There's something you're going to be here doing. And when you look back at this time of your life, you're just going to look at this time of your life as, oh, well, I was still, I wasn't where I was supposed to be back then. Okay, I wasn't where I was supposed to be. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the reverse. But after this change or whatever, there's a major transformation. We have the death card, Scorpio. You're going to align with someone who is on your level, on your wavelength. You see we have that one light, one heart, but we have two right there. So you're going to align with a very beautiful energy. And you're going to understand why all of this happened when you look back one day. You're going to look back and you're going to understand why you had this rough patch, why things slowed down, why things happened. It makes sense then when you align with this person because I think otherwise you would not have aligned with the person um, or the what's meant for you. You wouldn't have aligned with it if you had stayed, okay, or if this didn't happen, whatever this is. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. I have Gemini, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy right here. Virgo, Pisces, doesn't have to be rebirth. So, Aquarians, okay, in your 40-somethings, if you are experiencing some sort of slowdown, um, sudden cutoff, it's really aligning you with what you're supposed to really be doing here on Earth. All right? That's what it's doing. You will look back. Even though if it's hard right now, you'll look back and say, like, that time of my life, that's where things change. That's where the beginning of change started happening, Okay? All right, let's get a animal, spirit animal message. Got these all flipped up around here. Yep, let's get a spirit animal message for the 40-somethings. Oh, you got two. <laughs> you got two, two, two. Okay, and we have the Huron, and there are two here, all right? And it says, patient, create a place in nature, stillness, and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you reward. So you have a purpose and that's why whatever's going on in your life right now, 40 somethings with your career or money is happening. And we have dear love. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. So it talks a lot about also stepping into divine feminine energy, the empress energy, and everyone can step into that energy when we want to attract abundance and wealth because the empress is ruled by Venus and that attracts all of that stuff. Anyway, I hope this was beneficial 40-somethings. I love you. I'll see you in your next reading and namaste. Okay, Aquarians who are 50-something, Aquarius 50-something for... Uh, career, finance, money. Let's see what you need to know right now that you don't know or that you need to know that would be helpful. Let's see what you need to know. All right. What what messages want to come out for the Aquarians 50-something when it comes to money, career, finance? What needs to come out for the 50-something Aquarians, please? Okay. Three cards. Interesting. Interesting. The first card says, exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. 50-somethings, get the blood flowing, get the blood flowing, <laughs> okay? Um, the key to manifesting quickly is to have a very high energy level. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. 
Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Yeah, get the blood flowing, get the oxygen in there, okay? And then take divinely guided, a divinely guided chance. And it says, all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk. And you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you. You make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. So this tells me um, the way you make money may change okay or there might be an addition to that and we have the power of prayer now you know any of you who watch me long enough you guys know i love the power of prayer and it says give this situation to god for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles heaven's unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers be sure to act upon divine guidance god gives to you in response to your prayers so that means when you ask Pay attention to how the answers come. Pay attention to how the answers come. All right, so 50-somethings, let's get into the tarot part. Show me what I need to see for the 50-something Aquarians when it comes to their money, finances, career. Show me what I need to see for the 50-somethings. A little bit of blockage. Look, um, I feel it's the energy, okay? I feel if you're feeling a little blocked, I feel it's the energy. Now look at that. Yeah talks about money time um, investments okay are you wasting your time is your money growing is your money just staying right there it also talks about being patient with your money all right so let's see uh, anything else want to come out for the 50 somethings I just this is interesting this didn't happen with the other signs and I see the home on the bottom of the deck okay and then I tugged on on my microphone by accident some of you may be financial providers for others, others in your household, okay? And that might also be pulling on your, your, um, your purse strings, okay? Or your wallet strings. Hmm. Yeah, and as I say that, we have the page of cups. That can be a kid, even, whether they're grown or not grown, doesn't matter, kid. Um, and we have the star in reverse. But this is also saying... Don't we can take kids all out of the equation. It also says for the 50 somethings, you might not be doing what is close to your heart, what you absolutely love to do. So pay attention to that. Maybe there's an issue with finances because you're not doing what you absolutely love or what's close to your heart here. And pray for what you want, but know what know what you want too, right? You gotta know what to pray for because the star. Yes, it's a card of Aquarius. She's naked, so we're going to cover her up. She just never likes to put clothes on. And she's skinny dipping. Anyways, this is a wish fulfillment. And it talks about health as well, okay? And it did say exercise. So I feel adding exercise, or maybe you're even going to talk about exercise or, or talk about how you even change things for your health or whatever in your 50s. But small increments, but do, and be patient with yourself. Do what it is you love. It's very important because your money, your wealth, and your finance, your, your abundance is very closely linked to something close to you, your heart, what you love. You might not be doing that. And definitely exercise if you feel. And I have this here. There's a lot about circulation. 50-something Aquarians, get moving, okay? Get moving. You guys don't have enough activity. You don't have enough activity. This is, this is someone who's doing a lot. But it goes in the reverse. And then we have this heart here. So take care of your heart. Get get your blood moving, pumping, and circulating. All right. Tell me about Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Beyond illusion. This is an awakening. This is Pluto energy. All right, there is something that you're not seeing when it comes to either your purpose or what it is that you love or what's close to your heart, okay? Because this is um, a card of Pluto. It's a card of Scorpio, but it's usually, traditionally, it's 
it's the card where the angel is blowing the trumpet and everyone is arising and waking up. That's that's why it's an awakening card. It's come it's it's um you know, reacting to the sound of the trumpet and it's not happening here. So I feel deeply you know something. I feel that you do something to make money, you're comfortable with it. But now it's time to Go a little deeper. This is a little bit more closely connected to what you love. Okay? Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yeah, breakthrough. I'm telling you. We have suppression. We have breakthrough. That Ten of Wands has to drop. Something has to give. Um, and hopefully it's not anything related to health. But it talks about something has to give. Something has to break. And then there's a breakthrough. Tell me about the page of cups yeah what you don't see we have the star card again here existence and then we have this two trees you're about to align okay if you can align with what you absolutely love and there's strong indication about exercise you might even enjoy exercise or a form of it okay breathing techniques um yoga reiki whatever you know there's a lot that says exercise get the blood flowing there's a lot here that talks about health you're going to probably meet somebody by doing that yep i think that you're going to meet but anyway it's close to your heart literally your heart okay so you will meet somebody by doing something that you you love Tell me about the stars and definitely tell me about the star and definitely get yourself moving any kind of way you can. Any kind of way you can. 50 somethings. Flowering. Whatever it is, um, exercise, something you love to do, you know, walking, whatever, um, cycling, whatever it is you love to do, you're going to have a major change. You're going to have a major change in your, in your, I feel your circulation. I feel strongly circulation here. Um, and I don't know if you guys know that, but Aquarius does rule circulation in astrology. So if you follow that, yeah. There's something about, it's very important to uh, circulation, get the blood flowing, move your body, do things that bring you joy, page of cups, small little things that bring you joy, even small increments. You align with another person. Whatever this is over here, it's kept you in a state of, you know, you, you're, you're sort of comfortable. You're not really growing and expanding, though. You're kind of comfortable where you're at. And it's saying to really look at the big picture here. Look at the big picture. Um, because you're about ready to align with another energy. And it's yin and yang. This is the archangel. It's temperance. It's also Sagittarius. Show me what I need to see here. Um, for the spirit animal oracle. Okay, we're going to close out for the 50 somethings. Two cards. Regeneration. You can't make this stuff up. Okay, regenerate. Okay, your health and your energy is going to regenerate itself. And it says, Lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled and maybe some of you are survivors you maybe you have survived something awful um that has affected the way that you make your money okay um, and it says no matter what happens you can adapt embrace your transformation put on your new cloak you are a master of regeneration so definitely you can have a comeback okay you can have a comeback and you have people around you who love you. And it says, Fox and Clever. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. I don't know who's coming in. But you may want to even just, you know. You might even need your energy to be going out and doing things with this person. Because you've got somebody coming in. You can do this. You can pull this off, Aquarius. Okay, 50-something Aquarians. All right, I love you. Namaste. On to the next one. Okay, 60-something Aquarians. Okay, this is money, finance, career. All right, 60-something. So it's interesting. Let's see what wants to come out here. In the pre-shuffle, I got a lot about letting go. So maybe it's time to let go of some of the uh, things that you do to make money. Okay, 
maybe it's try to time to do other things who knows show me what i need to see for the 60 something aquarians career finance money two cards first one is we have a windfall of abundance and the first thing that comes to me is sometimes when you retire you get a pension um you know something like this so maybe that's you know what it is you know you cash out your 401k or a pension or something like that it says an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms some of them unexpected be open to receiving and knowing that this abundance comes to you um, to support your life purpose health and charitable work so and this this person's wearing you know like a santa claus so maybe around the holidays or something like that uh, maybe you're going to get some unexpected form of money windfall it can even talk about inheritance all right because um sometimes you know when uh you know people lose sometimes parents and stuff like that i don't want to talk about it you know but in their 60s a lot of changes happen i've already lost my parents but sometimes the 60s have a lot to do with letting go and sometimes we have to let go of people who are no longer in our life jobs but there's some sort of un um, unexpected form of income that could be coming your way and it says conscious consumer all right so this talks about you know when you buy something be aware of what you're buying and why you're buying it and if you really need it you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly as a conscious consumer you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods you live simply and you purchase only that which you need and that's what i got from it so um if you have some windfall of money coming in no matter how it's coming in um hold on to it okay hold on to it and only spend what you need okay only spend what you need is what it's saying so let's get into the tarot 60 something aquarians finance career money what do you need to know let me know how you like this um going through the 20s through the 70 plus because i like it i've noticed there's been a different in each uh difference in each generation so tell me 60 somethings here what do 60 somethings need to know when it comes to their money um what do they need to know when it comes to their money their money and finances here 60 somethings And like I said, we have here justice on the bottom. So this might be literally with this windfall of abundance. You know, you might have to sign some papers, okay? Um, this can talk about paperwork, all right? It might be an exchange of money, okay? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. So there's something I feel you're going to learn about something here. Um, and hopefully, like, nobody is put to rest. But it is something that 60-somethings go through, okay? They go through that sometimes and their parents are more up in age um and or, but it doesn't even have to be parents okay so we have the six of cups in the reverse all right that's that talks about memories and nostalgia it talks about close connections we have the nine of cups talks about wish fulfillment we talk we have the ten of wands which can talk talk about a heavy burden but it can talk about moving as well because this person picks up these wands these wands were not forced on this person this person chose the responsibility of them so they can easily be someone picking up boxes and moving them into a new location then we have the emperor this can for 60 somethings this can talk about getting your retirement money your social security i don't know how it is where you live but in america it usually starts in the 60s so there might be something about getting that and this is where it's like the magician reversed you don't have all the tools you had before right this was you you had maybe uh, other forms of income okay now it's like it said only buy what you need okay the magician you don't have all these forms um of income okay so maybe now in the 60s it's time to um not necessarily that you got to be frugal just get what you need more than what you want ask yourself those questions and the emperor can definitely be the government all right so let's see 
but somebody could be inheriting something from the emperor too okay that can be that payout like i said that whatever that was saved a pension you could have had a government job um like i said it can be government uh funds but it could be an elder all right it could be it could be a literal father so here i have aries uh pisces virgo energy tell me about the six of cups success and it's sideways all right so i feel if you've been having a dream because that can even talk about dreams um, you've been having a dream or, or a fantasy when it comes to retirement. I feel like you're, you're, you're about there. You're halfway there to your dream. Whatever you felt like it would be when you retire. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. That's a wish here. And we have traveling. <laughs> we have the world, but it's reversed. So maybe there's places you want to go to. And this is also a card, literally, of traveling. It's a Six of Wands. You know, there's victory here. So whatever it is you wanted to do when you said you were going to do it in your 60s or when you retired or whatever, that definitely is in the process of happening. And it's right next to the Wish Fulfillment card. What is the Wish Fulfillment? What is the Nine of Cups? So when I did see the world card reverse, and this is like take it moment to moment here. Don't get crazy, all right? So let's say, for instance, you have a choice. You want to travel. You want to see beautiful sights, okay, or something like that. You have the money. Do it if you want. But also, it can talk about, ask yourself, you know, um, do I want to travel with others? Do I want to travel with my family? And it sort of makes it less expensive, you know, Um because we're traveling together we get a group package or do i want to go travel and see sites okay maybe my family lives there and i can see my family and i can you know have a vacation versus doing two separate trips you know there's always stuff like that i don't pretty much i could take a lesson out of your book right here i am i'm in my 50 something so i don't need to tell you y'all can tell me something but it does talk about just slow down don't get stressed out, especially if you want to travel because you might feel stuck. Maybe financially you're like, okay, I don't know if I can do this. All right. Um, but I see that you can just slow down. Don't get stressed out about it. Just slow down. Take it moment to moment. All right. It's coming. Maybe it's not coming fast enough for you, but it's in the process. So just don't worry. Uh, just don't worry. It is coming. Tell me about the 10 of wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for the 60-somethings. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. We have the Miser in reverse. And that talks about Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person has a lot of stuff. Okay? And it's time to lighten the load. And that's what I got in the very beginning. Um, I got a card of like releasing and the totality. So in the big picture of things... Maybe you're moving, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're selling your home, maybe you don't need such a big spot, um, whatever it is, whatever it is, you know, is that just dropped, but it's the card of the person looks like they're losing their mind, like it's got too much, yeah, here it is, it is in the reverse, so it's like saying don't stress over it, don't stress over it, again, with the mind, don't lose your mind over whatever this is in your 60s, okay? You could be getting, like, anxiety, panic attacks, just whatever it is. Um, because I have healing in the reverse. I have these mind cards. You know, don't get yourself stressed out. Don't do it. Just slow down. Slow down. Everything's going to happen the way it needs to. Especially if you need to get rid of stuff because you want to move or you want to travel and you don't want to have all this stuff. You're like... I don't want to deal with all this. I've had this stuff for years. You know, it's time. I'm either going to pass it down to my kids or I'm going to get rid of it or I'm going to donate it. But it's like, it's time to clear out the clutter. Okay, it's time to clear out the clutter and guidance, um, the rebel. And for some of you, you know, maybe it's, you have lost somebody, okay? Because it does talk about loss. And it's just, you know, maybe you, you lost somebody and you've been holding on to their stuff. And it's just like, it's time to let it go literally free yourself just free yourself and trust you know because i have this comparison in the reverse and it's like you know there i i do see that it's time to let go of stuff whatever it is if it's your stuff 
someone else's stuff. Um, you don't need such a big space anymore. And that could even be a big windfall of abundance, selling a house or an, an, another property or something that you don't need. Tell me about the emperor. Tell me about the emperor. Change. All of this is like in the process. It spun around. It's um, a card of Sagittarius. Give me another one. Control. So the Emperor is definitely a card that can be in control. And it's saying change is coming. If you feel like you're stuck or you can't uh, do something right now, don't worry. Slow down. Success is coming. Change is coming. A windfall of abundance is coming, okay? And it doesn't say to be frugal with it. It just says spend wisely. And there's something that's out of your control. The emperor is in charge of it. And it can literally be your money. It can be the person or entity, government, or whoever's in charge that pays out, or 401k, or employer, because the emperor is all of that. Change is coming, okay? It is coming, and for the better. But it's just saying slow down a little bit. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough because the magician is in reverse. You might feel like you're missing something. You need something here. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. Stress. All right, so you're definitely stressing, okay? Definitely stressing about this. Okay, maybe you're using some of your savings, all right, because the, the, the miser can talk about they've saved a lot. Maybe you're stressed out. Maybe you're living a little bit on your savings until um, you get your first check or until they, they get the paperwork. Because I can see the paperwork was in the process, all right. The paperwork was on the bottom. The paperwork, it's all happening. The distribution of the money is coming. And whatever you have to wait, sometimes, you know, it even comes all at once, you know back pay um, when you waited so many months for them to di distribute your money you get the current plus from the point you know back pay everything they owe you so whatever it is it's coming I can see that you might be um, maybe even selling stuff living off savings but it's okay what you want is coming okay it is coming it's a process Let's get an animal oracle card for you. Show me what I, I need to see here for the 60-something Aquarians. Show me what I need to see for the 60-something Aquarians. That's a lot, though. Jeez. What is this? It landed on success. I'm not going to take all of these, but I definitely see you're going to have a great retirement. Look at all this love and people around you and pets. Cats. Um, you have a lot of strength around you. You have loving people around you, people of your own um, wavelength here. And you still have your sharp mind, so don't worry about it. You're very sharp-minded uh, here. And no, no nobility. So I'm going to pull on another one. I know some of you are going to be like, yeah, right, I'm single and I don't have anyone around me. But do you really not have anyone around you? Think about the Internet. Like, who do you c communicate with every day? Are you really just by yourself? Do you have a pet? Do you have neighbors? Do you have friends, family, people on the internet you connect with? Are you really, really alone? Because it's saying here you have a lot of support. All right. A lot of cards want to come out for you. Okay, so I'm just going to say family here. We got Penguin Authentic, and it says reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from the other's expectation and just be yourself. 60-somethings. Grizzly bear power. And it says, I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and I go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will succeed. You'll be fine. And this sometimes the bear and the fish can talk about money and the employer or where money comes from. Just let go of that. Release that because it's coming. And then we have frog and prosperity. And it says, let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy. Um, an abundance and good fortune await you. Abundance is coming in. I don't know how, but also... 
what I got with this was um, hop into this new day. I heard hop into this new phase. Hop into this new phase is what I heard. Anyway, 60-somethings, I love you. I'll see you in the next reading, and namaste, my friends. Okay, Aquarians, 70s and up. 70s and up. We're going to see what wants to come out for your money, okay? Your money. Show me what I need to see for 70 plus, okay, for their money, their finances, career. Show me what I need to see for 70 plus, 70 and up, 70 and up. So it can also include 80s, 70 and up. Anything else? All right. We see successful funding, and it says, Your ideal is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the ideal. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into a reality. Crow funding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. So, you got some resources when it comes to money. You might have extra properties. You might get one of those loans where you live in the house and, you know, when you pass away, they, they take the house or you pay or someone pays a loan back. Um, you might have um, portfolios. Um, you might be living on interest. You might be closing out some things. Whatever it is, you have successful funding, okay? So if you're... Um, trying to look for a way to get money, even a loan, okay? Um, it's not the most desirable thing to sometimes have to get a mortgage on something or, you know, especially if things are paid off, but it, whatever. If you really need money, if you're in a pinch, it's out here, okay? Or you might have good credit, successful funding. So let's get into the tarot part. So 70s and up, if you need some money, you need some financing, it says successful funding right there. Show me what I need to see for the 70s plus, 70s plus crowd who needs successful funding here. Successful funding is granted. Show me this. Show me this. Successful funding. 70 plus group. 70 plus group. We have the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. So we have Sagittarius strong here, um, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So this talks about not having enough, okay, um, on your own, whatever it is. You don't have enough on your own. It's a bad patch right now, okay, and not liking it because really not knowing what to do. This could be, you know, like choosing food or medicine okay this might be what do i do to get money this might be robin peter to pay paul and not liking it so let's get into it it's a pinch right now money might be a pinch tell me about the nine of pentacles in the reverse tell me about the nine of pentacles it even you know um you know i remember i remember when my my grandparents went through something like that and they love their independence. They didn't want to move in with any of their kids. They didn't want, they were pride. They didn't proud. They didn't want to have to take money. Um, they ended up doing a, a mortgage after their home was paid off. It was, but they got into something they could afford. And it's just, you know, sometimes it comes down to that. Or you can't get help because you have too many assets. And it was hard for them. So whoever this is for, though successful funding tell me about the nine of pentacles in the reverse yeah i mean literally whatever it is you know this sadness this isolation feeling stuck feeling like you you know don't know what to do you don't have an option i don't know how you're going to find this option or if someone helps you find it um Maybe it's somebody uh, close to you, all right? Maybe it's a younger person, but maybe this is the status afterwards. All right, you're going to be brought whole again, whatever this is. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, there's a lot here. We have creativity. It's the Empress in reverse. You know, and we have abundance here. 
divine feminine, divine masculine energy. There is another energy that's here to um, help and to assist. Whether it's an entity, a, a bank, a loan, a friend, a relative, it's here. Tell me about the will of fortune and the reverse. All right. It might be from an unexpected source, okay, because we have celebration, three of cups in the reverse, rebirth, and aloneness. There's somebody that maybe you thought wasn't going to help you, all right? Maybe somebody you might, might not thought was even going to, you were going to see them or whatever. There's something here that comes out of the woodwork, all right? You don't see that there's something that comes out of the woodwork, a regeneration, a rebirth with with something, a person, all right? Like I said, it could be a younger energy. And we have Aquarius in the reverse. I don't feel that you are expecting, I don't think that you were ever expecting this to be a regeneration with somebody. Um, and it doesn't have to be any of the signs I've named off. I also have Leo here, but whatever it is, it's going to put you in a better, I have also Aquarius, it's going to put you in a better position you're going to get funding all right i don't know where from because there's a lot of ways in which this can happen but it's um whatever this if it's like a bad financial pinch right now i also have virgo there's there's there is a way out there is a way out you're going to get funding um you're going to get help now the bottom of the deck was the temperance reverse with the two of pentacles that's like saying i don't know what to do I really don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I might be robbing Peter to pay Paul. I might be juggling my finances here. And it's not liking that lifestyle at all. Tell me about temperance. Yeah. This, this came out in the reverse. And, you know, it's like maybe you had someone else helping you with finances. Maybe there was someone that, you know, you were living with. You know, maybe even a... a um, a spouse just a roommate anyone you could have been living with someone and then it you know it didn't work out for whatever reason but this came in the upright so there is someone coming in to help all right and if it's loneliness because I mean I'm asking about finances I'm not asking about love or anything like that but it is a 70s plus reading whatever it is there's some there's there is it's hopeful it's hopeful and that's what i want you to, to to you you know it's very hopeful it takes away these tears okay and it brings a person whole again um and like i said this came out reverse this might have been like you know something that didn't go through it's compromise it's like someone something or some entity or energy didn't want to compromise and then it came in the upright so there's going to be some positive change. Tell me about the two of pentacles for 70 plus. Tell me about the two of pentacles for 70 plus. That's a lot. Yeah. There's a uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Beyond illusion. All right. Um, you might come to the realization that you can't afford to be where you're at or that you have to move in with someone else or um getting help if someone has left the house because we have the house card in reverse this is a four of wands four of wands is a house and it's reverse and we have totality here and this is like this there's there's an energy that's holding on and it's like someone's trying to go to a new a new destination over here but there's an old energy that's holding on and this can be thoughts whatever is is holding on clinging on all right so if it's if Somebody's being guided is all I can say. And I feel if, if you're 70 plus and you're having some problems, financial problems, don't know what to do, you are being guided. Also, ask for it. But I see that you are being guided. So remember, messages come in all kinds of ways. They come in all kinds of ways, but usually through people. But there's, there's you have to gain some sort of new awareness. There's some new awareness here. It's time to do something. It's time to make a decision about it. And it may involve a home or where you live or someone who is or isn't 
coming into the home or who's left the home. All right, so that four of wands is home energy. Show me what I need to see. We're going to close out with the spirit animal oracle. I have Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries energy, Gemini energy, um, Virgo energy, Leo energy, okay, Sagittarius energy strongly, and Leo energy strongly, but it can be anybody, okay, you don't have to go on the signs here, show me what I need to see, wow, family, this is a family, Orca, Orca well, adventure, and it says, Dare to do things differently, sing your wild song, manifest your travel dreams, attempt the great journey with confidence, and be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures, and loyal talks about also Leo. Be brave, you are more powerful than you know. So you're going to have support here, and the support could literally be family, family, friends. And we have white stag protector. Now this person, this, this energy reminds me of someone who is wise okay and possibly alone but i don't feel for long and it says you're an old soul your best friend is nature use your intuition to take you where you want to go awaken to the powerful force within you you are meant to create blessings within your life and this is what i want to say you are an old soul you are wise but beyond your physical body because a lot of times and you know i can relate as we get older we sort of judge ourselves based on our appearance we judge ourselves based on you know we're old people don't really want anything much to do with us anymore remember before your body you are a soul and your soul is powerful and your soul is infinite love from the creator that is what you are you're not your body you're not your mind you are your soul so focus with that Anyway, thank you for tuning into the reading. I love you guys. See you in the next one, and namaste, my friends.